in last week's video, I combined the new group by function with a data validation dropdown. And the idea behind that was to simulate a pivot table filter dropdown. But there was one important item missing from the dropdown, and that was an all option, basically a way to clear the filter selection. And that's what I cover in this video. If you want to follow along with me, you can download a copy of the practice file from the link in the description below. This is my starting point, a worksheet that is similar to the one that I created in last week's video. The data is in a table called Sales2. The drop down list in J2 gets its values from the list that starts in M2. That list is generated by a formula which creates an A to Z sorted list of the values in the customer location column and removes the duplicates. The group by formula in I4 displays the total revenue for each flavour together with a grand total. In last week's video, I came up with a workaround to clear the filter and that was to make J2 a blank cell. The group by function is wrapped inside an if function. So if J2 is empty, the group by has no filter. But if J2 is not empty, it applies the filter. Although that works, I didn't think it was intuitive to have the user making J2 blank. A better way is to add an all locations option to the dropdown. This is the formula that I used to generate the list. It looks complicated, so let me break it down. Let's start at the end rather than beginning. I know that sounds strange, but it will make more sense from an explanation point of view. The array to text function takes a set of values, which in this scenario are the ones generated by the unique sort function, and converts them into a single text string. It separates each value with a comma and a space. The next step is to add the words all locations, or just all if you prefer, to the beginning of the text string followed by a comma space. So we now have all locations followed by comma space followed by each of the items generated by the unique sort function with each of those items separated by comma space. I then need to split that string into separate cells, which I do using the text split function. Because the concatenated string had comma space between each item, I specified comma space as the delimiter of the text split function. What this does is it looks at the string and splits it into multiple cells across a row based on the position of the comma space. The comma spaces are removed, leaving the individual items. Now I need to use the transpose function to flip the individual items generated by text split so they're listed down a column instead of across a row. The drop down is already configured to be populated from the list that starts in M2, so that should now display all locations plus the individual locations. The final step is to amend the group by function. Instead of if J2 equals blank, I changed it to if J2 equals all locations or J2 equals blank. And that way, if the user wants to make the cell blank to clear the filter, they can do. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel for more Excel tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.